And welcome back here to Open. Darren Jaime here with you. The Bronx Community College's automotive technology curriculum is one of a kind in its city university of New York. The program prepares a student for a career as an automotive technician. Now this curriculum develops an understanding of operational principles, service sequences, and diagnostic techniques for the automobile. Well, what services and benefits will be provided to students that are enrolled in this program? Joining us to share a little bit more and talk about it, we are joined by the Director of Automotive Technology at Bronx Community College, Clement E. Drummond, and then also Master Technician at BMW of Manhattan, Grace Claudio, and uh, glad to have you both here with us on Open. Well, Darren, it's certainly my pleasure to be here today to talk about Bronx Community College's automotive program. Thank you. Well, we're glad to have you. And as we talk about an automotive program at Bronx Community College, we know that there are a lot of different majors that people can actually, you know, graduate with. But when it comes to automotive technology, um, it's being offered at BCC. And Clement, I'll let you take it away. A little bit about this program and the difference it's making uh, in the lives of students who enroll. Okay. Well, first of all, let me say this. Students, from the high school students that are graduating, from all over the city come to our Bronx Community College's automotive technology program. And some of the reasons they come there is because one, financial aid, it's very cost um, effective. When you look at other schools around uh, the five boroughs, you'll find that the education that we give uh, is very competitively priced in the sense that theirs is somewhere in the $30,000 range and ours um, with financial aid could be very reasonable. Uh, one, of, one of the other things is our facilities. The facilities that we have are state of the art. Um, we have a brand new facility uh, that's gonna come online this spring, 2021. It's called the Patterson Building. That was through a grant uh, from the governor's office. And I'm happy to report that the progress on the building is, uh, is being made right now as we talk. Uh, there's steel studs going up, uh, there's foundations, uh, there's brand new classroom. That's gonna be 6,000 square feet, but we already have 12,000 square feet. So we're gonna have 18,000 square feet of uh, facilities to provide the best training uh, for students that want to be in the automotive industry. Yeah. And Grace, uh, thank you for sharing with us here. Talk a little bit about the partnership with Nissan in Manhattan. Of course, you guys are working in partnership and collaboration together right now. Uh, you're at the, your own facility right there. Uh, a little bit about that. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, thanks, Darren. Um, well, with the Nissan program, um, I'm able to work on newer vehicles, which is really nice to demonstrate to the students as I work at BCC as a CLT. Um, so having newer vehicles and newer technology to show the students is so much better. Um, also, um, working at BMW Manhattan, so that's where I'm at right now, um, and I was able to get into BMW through the partnership program, um, the step program with Bronx Community College, um, and that's how I was able to get here. Mm -hmm. And Clement, when we talk about this, there's an opportunity for an apprenticeship, right? And I think that um, not only are you getting that book knowledge, but the reality is, is there's some hands-on knowledge, and that knowledge is definitely invaluable. Yes. Uh, the local dealers support us by having an apprentice program. And uh, one of the things is that when they go to the shop, they're given a mentor. So it's not that they just show up and they try to figure out what, what they have to do. They're going to work with a lead technician that has mastered this and they could ask some questions on the job. And, you know, students come to college. Well, you, you learn all the foundational, but you have to apply it. So it's a job that you use your mind and you have to be able to use your hands and you complete, complete jobs that are mechanical. Um, you have to have good analytical skills. You have to have reading skills. Think of today's cars that we're going into autonomous cars now, that cars that can drive themselves. This is all about electronics. So we give a great foundation in electronics or it's basic electric and then into the electronic part. So uh, Grace, when you were at the college, I remember you were a 4-0 student. She was one of our best students over the years. 
Uh, and what happens is there's people at BMW, they have corporate meetings, and there was one in England, and they mentioned Grace's name because she's such a, a good technician. And Grace, it's got to be a great feeling for you coming through the program. You work at a BMW. Talk to us about how this has actually, you know, helped you professionally. Um, it's definitely a great feeling, especially um, growing up in the Bronx and um, being able to excel. Um, you know, you know how it is when it comes to minorities. Um, and it's, it's been a, a great learning experience. Um, before this, I was a boxer, so I already um, understood what it was or, you know, to be rejected or to be not taken seriously. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I kind of already had that, um, that mindset to come in and work, do my thing, learn what, what needs to be done, get my job done and go home. Um, so it was, it was no playing around. It was more business and trying to be the best that I want to be and excelling and becoming a master technician, which I was able to accomplish. Um, and it's, it's a great feeling and it's great to represent Bronx Community College because they helped me a lot and the professors were great. Yeah. So I, I, I owe them a lot of um, gratitude. And Clement, in addition to having this professional experience, right, you have the opportunity to do uh, and work in a practical setting. Uh, but I also want to talk about certifications because in addition to having these practical setting, you also have the ability also through this program to have certifications. That's correct, because um, right in our beginning class, the intro, students already, uh, there's something called SP2, which is safety and pollution, um, and it's a safety program. But what we do is they, they take actually three of the courses, they actually get certificates right up front, and actually they uh, actually take the management level one. So um, every student uh, that attends Bronx Community College, the first thing they're going to do is get certificates in safety, which when they go to a dealership uh, is invaluable because what happens is dealerships have to pay insurance. So they like to see things of that nature. So we like to give them success right from the day go. And what happens is from there, uh, they can get ASC certifications. Now, the college program is accredited by Automotive Service Excellence Education, all right? And uh, we're accredited at the highest level, which is master. And then what happens is students that take courses, what they usually do is they will then take an ASC exam and start building up that credential. So that makes them more valuable to the dealership when they get hired. Grace, a little bit about just a student that could potentially participate in the program. Speak to them about the benefits and what you think they'll be able to get by considering a career in automotives because there are a lot of careers out there. We know about science and tech. Uh, we know about STEM and those things. But when it comes to a career in the automotive industry, uh, somebody might say, well, is it, really, is, is it really tangible? And you would say, what to that? Um, I would say that it is tangible. If it's something that you're passionate about and you like working with your hands, which was my case, um, going for the automotive program and BCC, you can get your associate's degree or you can get your certificate. Um, it is a lot of opportunity. The professors are great. And um, there's a lot of money to be made as an automotive technician. You're always going to need a technician no matter what. To fix your own car, to fix other people's cars. It's, it's a really great experience. Like I love what I do and not a lot of people have the, the privilege to say that. Yeah, it's a, it's a great privilege to be able to say, listen, I like what I do. I go to work in the morning. I come home fulfilled because I like what I do. Clement, uh, about the program as well, students who actually take part in the program, I understand that if they're hired, there's also a possibility for tuition reimbursement? Yes, with the, uh, the Nissan program, if they go to work for a Nissan dealership with over a two year period, um, they could receive up to $6,000 towards their uh, cost of their education prior to, to going into the dealership. That's, that's great. That's great. So let's talk about how students can actually participate. I mean, there's a student out there saying, listen, this is what, exactly what I want to do. Uh, what do they do? Well, the first step is go to the BCC website. And you could, um, or you could um, actually go on uh, your browser and put in automotive technology and you'll see Bronx Community College's automotive technology come, uh, program come up. And then what you could do from there is you can look at, uh, we have uh, uh, pictures of, of the uh, various uh, equipment, uh, labs, uh, cars, um, uh, 
And then from there, you, you just click on admissions and then you could register to become a student at Bronx Community College. Now, I just want to point out, Bronx Community College is very unique. You could, you could apply to, for, for college uh, for August, all right? That's our, our fall semester. And then we also have a spring semester. So students uh, could start actually looking into this and actually start the, uh, I would say the, the paperwork, but it's not paperwork, it's all online. And what happens is you could actually start registering for Bronx Community College for the spring. So we have it twice a year uh, where a lot of colleges, you only can start in the fall. Mm. Pretty, pretty, pretty interesting there. And Grace, what does it feel like for you? I mean, going through the program and now you're at BMW uh, in Manhattan, one of the most premier places uh, in all of New York City, and you're working there uh, for you. And in some ways, a little bit of a dream come true. Uh, it definitely is, it's definitely a, a, a dream come true, really. Um, if it wasn't for Boston Lady College, I probably wouldn't be here. Um, not a lot of dealerships uh, take female technicians. Um, so it's been a, a rough road, but very rewarding and definitely worth the, uh, the sweat and tears. Ah, well, thank you so much, Grace, for the great work that you're doing and congratulations on your position and all the things that are happening for you. Clement, I want to thank you so much for sharing with us a little bit about Bronx Community College and the automotive pro program. Uh, I think it's a great program, and hopefully we'll get some more students connected uh, who have this uh, as a desire. Well, thank you, Darren. Thank you. thank you so much, Darren. Thank you for having us. Uh, no worries, no worries. Listen, and we want you to stay connected. Of course, you can find out more. Uh, all you got to do is go to the Bronx Community College website and get more about this Nissan Automotive Technology Program. Listen, we still have some more show up ahead, so please stay with us. Don't go anywhere. Open will return right after this.